I have never felt such pure joy from looking at a Pokemon. This thing is absolutely adorable. And I, I, I have been gushing about this thing since it was since it was like first seen in the game. Whatever though, you guys are gonna have to hear me gush about it for like, I don't know, 10, 12 minutes. Everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive moveset guide for VGC. And if you're new to the channel, I know a lot of people are going to be new to the channel because they're trying to get into VGC now that Sword and Shield have just recently dropped. My name is Marcos. I am a competitive VGC player, and I enjoy going to local tournaments in the Chicago scene as well as regional tournaments. And I made this channel specifically to teach people about VGC because I really want the scene to expand. And Pokemon's honestly one of my favorite games of all time, so I love sharing it with my friends and just people on the internet. But today we're going to be taking a look at Appleton. It was a viewer requested Pokemon and I'm really excited to take a look at it. So if you guys enjoy this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. Helps me get my channel out there and yeah, I'm just trying to grow. My goal is to reach 5,000 by the end of the month and I think that it's actually possible. But here's Appleton. He is extremely, extremely thick with that 110 base HP and 80 in both of its defenses. Now 80 in both defenses isn't that impressive, but when you put that onto 110 HP, it's able to eat some insane hits, especially with a couple of its abilities. Uh, it has three abilities, and one of them is really cool. It's called Ripen. Now, Ripen is an ability that doubles the effect of berries. So if your berry raises your special attack stat, well, now it's going to double your special attack stat, putting you up to plus two. If your berry heals you for 25% health, like with a citrus berry, now it's 50%. If it's 33%, now it's 66%. It's such a cool ability. Uh, it has two more abilities too, and we'll get into those in a minute, but they are going to be Thick Fat and Gluttony. I have a couple of Thick Fat sets coming up after this, but for this set, we have Draco Meteor, Apple Acid, or Giga Drain, depending on what you prefer. Uh, Apple Acid is going to be kind of cool for wearing down your opponent over the course of multiple turns because it's 100% guaranteed to decrease your opponent's special defense stat, and it's the same base power as Giga Drain, so that's cool. Uh, where Giga Drain is different in that uh, it's just special grass type attack that will heal you for a quarter of the damage you did to your opponent. Gyro Ball is a nice way to cover fairy types in this format. You have the option of running Heavy Slam on this Pokemon, but don't be fooled by it. It's It looks like a big chunky boy, but I looked it up. He's only 27 pounds. He's not that heavy. Heavy Slam will do absolutely nothing to anything in the format, even fairy types with extremely low defense, because you're only 27 pounds. We also have Protect on here because its doubles Protect is almost necessary for most Pokemon, uh, and its EV spread is 252 HP, 4 attack, and 252 special attack with a quiet nature. Because we're a quiet nature, we're minus speed, which will power up Gyro Ball, and because we're not minus attack, uh, that 4 attack will be pretty nice for just getting a little bit more extra power on that one physical move we're running. And the Citrus Berry, once again, with Ripen on it, will heal us for 50% health instead of 25, which is just super, super cool. It's kind of reminiscent of how Pinch Berries worked in Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. How uh, if you had a Gluttony, uh, if you were wearing like Gluttony Snorlax with a Figgy Berry, instead of getting 50% uh, of your health back at a quarter health, you'd get 50% of your health back at 50% health, which is really, really cool. Uh, this is, I believe, the only Pokemon capable of doing that still. So yeah, that's kind of really cool and uh, nice tech for Appleton. Honestly, like I'm, I'm just going to gush about this Pokemon for the remainder of this video, but we have some more movesets to go over. Right here, we have Quiet Nature Appleton with Thick Fat, Draco Meteor, Giga Drain, or Apple Acid. Once again, preferential, Earthquake, and Gyro Ball. It's the same stat spread as the other set, but we're going to be running Assault Vest. And what this is going to excel at doing is just tanking special hits. Even Ice-type moves, when you take into a fat that we have, take into a fat take into a fact <laughs> i can't speak when you take into consideration i'm going to say that instead uh when you take into consideration that we have thick fat and the salt vest we're going to be eating those ice type hits because thick fat will reduce the damage of fire type and ice type attacks by 50 percent uh, or 250 percent so uh instead of taking times four damage from ice type attacks we're only going to be taking times two and we now resist fire type attacks. So that's really, really cool for Appleton. He gains a new resistance with this ability. And the Assault Vest just compounds on that, allowing us to soak up special hits with that beefy 110 HP and 80 special defense. And it's just an offensive Assault Vest set, uh, similar to what Tangrowth would run in OU back in uh, Sun and Moon. But 
Yeah, no, I, I think that uh, this might be one of the more standard sets next to the Citrus Berry set that we can expect to see in the metagame. Uh, but the metagame is still developing, so as it grows and shifts around, uh, we'll see what's viable, and these sets will get more specific as we know what we need to expect. So, the next set that I have for you guys is once again a thick fat set, but this is going to be a sassy nature, and he's going to have Leech Seed, Protect, Recover, and Dragon Pulse or Giga Drain with 252 HP, 4 Defense, 252 Special Defense, and Leftovers or a Yaki Berry. So, Thick Fat plus Yaki Berry is really cool because it makes it so once per game we only take neutral damage from an Ice type attack. And with max Special Defense and max HP and a Sassy Nature to boost that Special Defense, we're going to be taking like absolutely nothing from that. So, that's super cool. Uh, it's essentially just like soaking up a special hit. It isn't even super effective at that point. Uh, but we also have Leech Seed, Recover, Protect, and Dragon Pulse or Giga Drain. Leech Seed is super cool because you get recovery from opposing Pokemon at the end of each turn, as if you had leftovers. And uh, Recover is just a really nice tool for this Pokemon to have. It's able to eat up hits and then just act like they never happened. Protect is nice for uh, being able to set up Trick Room next to this Pokemon. Because it's so slow, it's pretty obvious it's going to be a uh, Trick Room Pokemon. So... If you protect and set up Trick Room next to it, it can get going. Uh, it'll soak up an Ice type attack, set up a Leech Seed, and just start stalling out your opponent as long as you need to. And the reason I have either Dragon Pulse or Giga Drain on this set is because it really depends on your preference here. Uh, Leech Seed is a Grass type attack, so if you face something with um, immunity to Leech Seed like Ferrothorn, uh, you're probably going to want to click uh, Dragon Pulse on like a Ferrothorn instead of Giga Drain because Dragon Pulse is slightly stronger in the fact that it isn't uh, times four resisted by Grass Steel uh, and it's just it's different coverage you'll be able to hit something other than um, you, you, you'll be able to hit things for super effective damage with Dragon Pulse it's not the strongest move but it's fine personally I'd go Giga Drain though because it's extra recovery on top of all the recovery you have on the set with Leech Seed and Leftovers so that's really cool. I, I think this is going to be um, an interesting set that people might run in this metagame. Uh, if you guys want to try it out, let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. And the final set I have for you guys today is going to be something that's very rare to find in Pokemon. Dual screen Pokemon are really hard to find. Light screen and reflect are accessible by Appleton. And when you slap a light clay onto that, it's going to get extra turns. It's not going to go away in four turns or five turns. It's going to go away in like eight. So that's really, really cool. Um, because he's very obviously a Trick Room Pokemon, the rest of his team is probably going to be taking advantage of Trick Room. So uh, you'll be taking half damage from both physical and uh, special moves for the remainder of those eight turns. And because they're already so bulky, it's going to be like taking no damage. You can set up and sweep in their face. Draco Meteor is just there for Stab, and Apple Acid and Giga Drain are, once again, interchangeable depending on what you want to run. I personally would go Apple Acid on this set because... When you're running Light Screen and Reflect, you can wear down your opponents while they're desperately trying to get any damage off on you. And I decided to go with more of an offensive spread on this Pokemon, uh, because even though it's sort of support in the fact that it's setting up Light Screen and Reflect, I personally believe that uh, it'll do much better in... Like, it's already super bulky, right? So we can afford to run Special Attack over more defensive EVs uh, because of the Light Screen and the Reflect. Plus, Thick Fat is going to be making it so... Behind a light screen and thick fat, like it's literally just going to be taking neutral damage from ice type moves every single turn. So that's really all I got for Appleton. Uh, you could try running a gluttony set, but unfortunately gluttony isn't really all that useful when you have ripened citrus berry. Uh, gluttony will give you 33% back at 50% health with those pinch berries that are supposed to heal you at a quarter. But of course, you know, citrus berry is much better at 50%. You get 50%. You don't have to wait any longer. And yeah, I mean, it'd be really cool to get 66% health at a quarter health if you wanted to try Ripen plus a Pinch Berry, but I really don't see that being as good as just 50% at 50%. But let me know what you guys think about Appleton in the comment section down below. Are you going to use it? Do you think it's viable? Do you think it's bad? Do you like Flapple better? I personally think Flapple's trash, but that's my opinion. I'll also be taking any suggestions for Pokemon you want to see me cover in these moveset guide videos. I'm trying to get two out every day at the very least. And if you guys want to join me for a live stream where I'll be doing some raids and training up some Pokemon, you can join me over on Twitch pretty much immediately after this video. Uh, that link will be in the description under social media. But yeah, uh, be sure to check out my social media, by the way. Uh, I have a Twitter, a, 
of course, a YouTube, a Twitch, and a Discord channel that I'm trying to get a lot of people in. We're trying to get hidden abilities spread around to as many people as possible if they want to make competitive teams. So having people to trade with, do raids with, and everything uh, is going to be really, really nice. We're also trying to get best of threes going so people can practice for competitive. But yeah, all those, once again, are linked down in the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.